My mother was a nun. Uh, she was a nun and a nurse who worked with lepers in Malawi, Africa. My father was a Franciscan brother who taught history to Catholic boys in Brooklyn and wore the, the robes and was like the lost Jedi of Flatbush. And I grew up admiring Jesus the way anybody admires mom's first husband. Um, I aspire to be Christian. I aspire to be more Christian. I would not presume to handle that label on myself. Christianity is under attack in America, and it has always been under attack by the same group, people who declare themselves Christians and actively work against everything Christ talked about. Every Christian president who owned people was not Christian. Now, technically, we could split hairs on this on anything and say that no one's Christian for any reason, and I'm of the opinion there's only been one Christian, and he died on the cross, and he was the first innocent, brown-skinned, famous person to ever get the death penalty, because he was. But um, I think that right now, today, our loudest Christians are the ones who are the most rejecting the teachings of Christ. Uh, for a lot of right-wing America, the Bible consists of the Book of Leviticus and the Book of Revelation duct tape to the entire Left Behind series. The actual teachings of Christ are ignored, and uh, Jesus, if you go by the book, was a peaceful, radical, nonviolent revolutionary who spent time with lepers, hookers, and criminals, was not an American citizen, never spoke English, was anti-capitalism, anti-wealth, completely anti-death penalty, anti-public prayer, Matthew 6, 5, oh yes he was, look it up, but never once anti-gay. Never mentioned abortion, never called the poor lazy, never fought for tax cuts for the wealthiest Nazarenes, never said torture's okay sometimes, and was a long-haired, we think, that might be wrong, uh, brown-skinned, we know that, that's in Revelation, fuck you left behind books, brown-skinned, homeless, community-organizing, liberal, Palestinian, anti-slut-shaming, unarmed Jew, if you believe what's actually in the Bible. Our problem now is we have Christians who think a talking snake is literal fact, but Christ saying love your enemies was just him being all metaphorical and shit. Mm -hmm.